and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here for the first time then welcome my name's Trina Louise and over here on this channel we do all things plus size fashion and beauty I am here today with one of my favorite things to do we are doing not only are we doing a plus size clothing haul but we are doing a haul from three different shops this is something I have never done before I have always done brand dedicated hauls but today I just wanted to pick up a couple of little things from a couple of places and I thought let's do a three brand haul <laughs> so you will have to let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video do you prefer it to be a dedicated um shop haul or do you like it being a bit mixed or whatever your thoughts are let me know in the comments just before I get started this dress is from my most recent ASOS haul I will link that haul down below and I will link this dress down below I am loving it. <laughs> so today's video, I am going away in a couple of weeks. I mentioned this in I think my ASOS haul that I'm going on a really exciting trip and I can't tell you the details of it just yet. That hasn't changed. I still can't share the details with you but as soon as I can I will but all I can say is I'm going somewhere hot and that I'm going quite soon. So I am trying to do holiday shopping when it's becoming autumn. <laughs> so that's going quite well. Um, I picked up a couple of things in my ASOS haul but none of the sort of swimming costume type things worked. So today I have picked up a couple of things from yours, Simply Be and Evans and I have picked up some swimming costumes, a couple of dresses and a couple of pairs of shoes because you need some sandals when you're going to be in a hot country. So I thought let's just pop all this in one video and see how it goes. So yeah, without further rambling, let's just get on and start this video. So I thought we could start with the shoes because shoes, <laughs> shoes ruin my life. I'm not being dramatic, shoes ruin my life. I have got size nine feet verging up to a potential size 10 depending on where I buy shoes and I have got wide feet. Now when I say wide, I don't mean like when you're in uh, in a shop and they say they cater for wide feet. I'm talking about E E E extra wide fitting. I'm talking about Evans extra extra wide. I'm talking about Simply Be extra extra wide. I think it's called E E E. It's not even like extra extra. It's extra extra extra. <laughs> I have wide feet, so I really struggle with shoes. There are very few places I can buy shoes from. I can buy shoes from Simply Be. I can buy shoes from Evans. I can buy shoes from yours. I can slip my feet into some generous wide fitting shoes at. Primark and that's about it. New Look do wide foot but they don't, they're not wide enough for me. So I'm very limited on where I can get shoes from because size nines are much easier to get than they used to be but they're still quite hard to get. So I have picked up some shoes from yours and from Evans today. Yes, <laughs> to think then. So I'm going to show you what I've got. I'll show you them here and then I'll include a little try on clip as I normally do with shoe hauls. So we'll start off with what I picked up from yours. Now I tried your shoes the other day, the other day, uh, a few weeks ago for the first time and I had a mixed feeling. I got some really nice boots and some really nice like slip on sandal type shoes but I got some heels as well and the quality of them was not very good and unfortunately that is the case with the two pairs of shoes I picked up from yours today. So the first pair of shoes that I picked up from yours are these gorgeous, gorgeous sandals. Let me just show you one. So they've got a beautiful, beautiful pink, uh, white, colourful strap on them. They are a um, toe sandal, whatever they're called, and it's got these gorgeous like chain golden chain details and the clasps here like beautiful and it's an elasticated strap which is great because I don't know about you but do any of my chubby girls out there struggle to put sandals on because it's quite hard to reach down to that part of your foot and get that tiny little delicate clasp and put it on I struggle and when I'm on the beach and I want to slip my shoes on and off I thought this would be perfect it does have a little bit of a wedge but nothing major and it does have like a really fun glittery sole it is really soft and a bit padded I think in heat these might be quite um 
conductive of the heat though because it is like a soft almost suede feeling material so I feel like that might get hot if you're a little bit warm and sweaty like I tend to get but I think they would be comfortable. So what's wrong with them Trina do you say because you know they look really nice well if you can see the fit of them whilst they fit my toes are kind of hanging over the edge just a bit and I could handle that but the quality is just shocking let me find the places of the shoe to show you so you can see here there is glue all over the shoe there's more points than that it's here as well and on this shoe there's glue here so you can see it's not just a one-off problem because it's happened on both shoes and then the material's kind of like bunched here where it's meant to be like glued flat can you see like there's a, a like a little lip a little edge where it's not stuck properly so like the quality is just shocking so yeah there's more glue there as well and this is the problem I had with the shoes I sent back last time is that the glue had spilled on those as well so there's got to be something wrong with the way that they are making these shoes because for it to happen on two separate pairs and I think they've happened on the next pair of shoes I'm going to show you as well if I remember rightly something is going wrong like yeah like there's marks here already it's a shame because I think these are beautiful and whilst this isn't the most like sophisticated thing I think they would have been beautiful and so, like um practical at the same time so these will be going back but it's a shame because they would have been perfect so the next pair of shoes I got because I really want to get some Doc Martin sandals and I will commit but I feel like it's something I need to do and try on in store because they're a bit more pricey and they're sort of notoriously difficult to um, wear in so I want to try them in shop before I commit. So when I saw these at yours I was like hmm these will be a good temporary solution. So this is what the shoe looks like. It's got a black bottom platform surface <laughs> with these white buckle straps and I think these are really cute oh my goodness you can see how big my feet are <laughs> so you can see there is like an indentation for your feet the bottom is a little bit hard it's not sort of squishy and padded like I thought it might be and then this is what the bottom of the shoe looks like now my problem with these shoes are again the quality like you can see the strap is already coming off where it's just been glued on and if it's coming off as I take it out the packet goodness knows how it's going to be after I've actually worn them I think it shows worse on the other shoe yeah you can see here like it's let me just unstrap it and I can show you more. Yeah, you can see it's already coming off. I thought we had a problem with glue on these shoes as well, but we don't, so I do take that back. There's no glue spillage, but the, it, the glue just isn't working strongly enough on these shoes, which is a shame because they fit really, really nicely and I would have been very happy in them. But the other thing that is very, very confusing about these shoes, and it's not, I wouldn't send it back because of this problem, but I was very, very confused. So this shoe says that it's a nine, and it says that it's a nine here, and it says that it's a nine here. So this is a nine, okay. This shoe says it's a nine here, says it's a nine here, but says it's an eight inside. So <laughs> originally I thought they'd sent me an eight and a nine, but they do seem to be the exact same size. Like when I put them on my feet, they fit properly. It's quite hard to put them side by side and show because they're so curled. But the fact that it says nine there and the fact that it says nine there and they feel the same on my feet tells me they're a nine. But why does it say eight inside? Can someone tell me? Why does that say eight? <laughs> So I really like these and I would have 100% kept them and granted it's not the most amount of damage in the world but if it's come off that much already how long are these going to last and it's not like they were expensive but they weren't exactly cheap so you know by the end of the holiday these are going to be destroyed if not sooner like you don't want to be out walking around and your shoe breaks so although these are really nice they're going back. The next pair of shoes I picked up are from Evans and I'm glad to say 
we have more success. So this is what the sandal looks like from Evans, really sleek and sophisticated with the brown. It's got a strap across the toes and a strap across here and a little buckle. And then it does just buckle up around the ankle. Now, yes, granted, I do struggle a little bit to put these on because of the whole, you know, belly in the way, trying to reach my ankles kind of thing but I can do it and it's not a problem and I'm sure there's people that can help me if I need it. But these are really nice. They've got a little bit of a platform to them, but you can't feel it, they're quite comfy. It's got a little bit of padding, nothing too major, but just enough that it's gonna help you feel that bit more comfortable. This does have a little bit of elastic on, so great for us wide fitting gals, although these are the EEE -E -E fitting, as I was saying, so they're gonna be really comfortable anyway. This is what the soles look like. Yeah, these are really nice. The, the quality of them is like, it's all right, it's average. Like it doesn't quite line up and there's maybe a little bit of glue spillage around the edge, but it's nothing in comparison to the first pair of shoes. And these are really, really comfy. And I just think they look really nice and sophisticated and they're substantial enough that I'm not gonna be like wearing a flip-flop that's gonna be flying off. Like <laughs> the last time I went abroad, I kicked a rock and broke my toe. So, you know, I need a substantial shoe that's gonna protect my feet. So I'm very happy with these. And I think that these are a great find. So that's all the shoes. Now I'm gonna move on to, should we do dresses or swimming costumes first? I was gonna say like, cast your vote, but this isn't a live situation. <laughs> I will see, but I'm gonna change my setup and I'm gonna try on some clothes for you. So I thought I'd start off with the swimming costume that I picked to try from Evans. This is in a size 28 and it's got polka dots on it, guys. <laughs> Anyone who's been here for any amount of time knows that I love polka dots, like hashtag polka dot club. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm cool sometimes and I'm not. But yeah, it's <laughs> a beautiful polka dot top with these bright flowers on the bottom. This is better than what I got from ASOS two weeks ago, but it's not quite right. I think the problem with it is it's not long enough for my long torso. So I'm 5'9", 5'10". I really need to find out which one I am. <laughs> um, I carry a lot of weight in my stomach. So there's a bit of a, well, there's a lot of an overhang here and I have a long torso anyway. So it is just a bit too short on the torso, like I can feel that everything's not quite where it's meant to be. In terms of stomach falling out, which is a problem that I have, like you can see, obviously I've got knickers on because hygiene. <laughs> um, you can see that my stomach would be hanging out. In terms of the chubby downstairs area, there would be a little bit on show. I talked about this <laughs> in my ASOS haul that as a chubby girl, I am chubby downstairs and I need a fair bit of material to make sure that I am tucked away, <laughs> for want of a better word, and safe and secure so I'm not gonna have any accidents. This is almost there. I could have done with a little bit more of material down there. And I think if I wasn't having to hike it up to make it fit, I might have had nearly enough stomach coverage, but yeah, it's just a little bit of hanging out there. In terms of the top, let me show you the back. I love where it comes to on the back. Um, I think it looks great on the bum. The straps are adjustable, which I appreciate. So I would probably make them a little bit longer because they are digging into my shoulders a bit because it's pulling itself up. In terms of the chest, the cups do have some structure to them, but it's just not working for me because you can see from the side, like the cups are so big. What if I squish this boob, you might see. Um, I'll come a bit closer. <laughs> the cups are so big that there's just like, my boobs are just hanging in there and like there's loads of empty room. So it's not exactly keeping me secure in place. It's probably because it's a bit more of a plunge than I thought it would be. Um, so it's not really giving me any structure or hold. It's giving me more than some I've had, but not quite enough. So whilst I think this costume is gorgeous, it's just, it's nearly there, but it's not quite there for me. So I am gonna probably say no to this one and move on to the next one. So this next one is from yours and is in a size 28 again, and it is a hot, hot pink swimming costume with my blonde hair and this costume. I feel like a like a Barbie girl or something. Um, it does have a sort of panel here that's a bit ruched, that's meant to help like flatter the stomach. Um, it fits, but there's a lot of stomach hanging 
and you can see how thin this material is like I would worry that it would break quite easily like you can see not only my underwear through but you can literally see my skin through so that's not a good sign I'll show you the back so it's an okay point on the back it's tight it's <laughs> it's quite tight on me it looks okay on the bum though I feel like you'd see my bum crack through this guys like if you can see the folds of my skin here I don't know if it's picking up on camera but I can you see you're gonna see my bum crack like <laughs> if I don't want you to see like my downstairs area falling out I don't want you to see my bum crack whilst I'm swimming in front of you so the quality isn't there I do like this little bit here but it does mean if I got a suntan I'd be like <laughs> crisscrossed um it's pulling on the straps a bit it's not long enough for me which is why I'm having the tummy issue and then in the boobs <sighs> there's a little bit of like holding them in place there is like a thin pad in here but it's not structured um, and because it's kind of ruched underneath it does hold them in place a little bit not as much as I would want but a little bit but yeah just the quality like I don't want anyone <laughs> seeing through my bottom 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 <laughs> I was going to say butt and then I said bottom and bottom came out so yeah unfortunately this one is a no as well now this last swimming costume is from Simply Be and is in a 28 and it is this really pretty black and white gingham, gang, gingham, I think it's gingham <laughs> pattern. Now this is the one that fits me the best down here like there's the tiniest bit of like overhang if I go like this you can see my stomach but it's nothing major and in terms of the downstairs we're about 90% of where of the way to where we should be but <laughs> I had to get Adam to like hoik me up in this because for some reason I really struggled to get it up um it does completely flatten the chest like there's no support there whatsoever and the strap is a halter neck strap it comes up to a nice point on the back and I like the way it fits on the bum like I feel like there's a little bit of cheeky bum on show which is kind of fun and kind of cute and kind of sexy you know what I mean like we all want to feel good about ourselves in a swimming costume and I like having just a little bit of butt cheek showing <laughs> but that's my preference now I'm almost there with this one guys I just think it's pulling on my neck quite a bit like I'm not a fan of halt necks at all like it's just like <laughs> pulling on my neck and the way the material folds here I don't know if you'll see but it's a bit funny like can you see there's a bit of a like weird fold on the material so this is almost <laughs> there I know that Simply Be do amazing swimming costumes because that's where I've always got mine from I'm just gonna <laughs> unhoist my neck oh my god that's so much better it is detachable though actually so you know that could work it does have a little bit of like you know that plastic that's meant to make it stay in place but it doesn't really do anything so I could wear it like that that changes things oh what do we think of this one guys it's not perfect but it's definitely the best so far what do we think I feel really glamorous in this pattern <laughs> Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, so, oh, this is adjustable. <laughs> I keep getting distracted. So I was saying, Simply Be do do good swimming costumes and they do a range that I really wanted to try where you can pick a longer bodied swimming costume, but I think this was like the only swimming costume in my size at the moment because we're going into winter, well, autumn, winter. So it meant that I was really restricted which is a shame I'm gonna have a quick look and see if now it's like a week or so later if there's anything else available just like checking myself out in the mirror actually guys I feel like I don't know I kind of feel really good in this swimming costume <laughs> um like we are being very unprofessional and having a little online browse here I just want to see if they've got any more options because if they do I might do another little mini simply be swimming costume haul let's have a look yeah they do they have a couple more in now but like I swear when I did my order they didn't have any of these in um so they've got some more in this range which I think is like the basic range but they've also got a couple in their Magisculpt range um which is meant to be like a tummy control range so I might have a little look and see if there's any more that I can find to try you'll have to let me know in the comments down below would you like me to do like an extra cheeky simply be swimming 
costume haul um let me know because that's something i can definitely do but yeah let me know your thoughts on this one guys should i keep it should i hold on to it and see if something else better comes or should i just send it back because i mean it's not one for like doing anything too active in because you know <laughs> there's no like nothing keeping it in place but just for like lounging around by the pool on the beach is this working for me you'll have to let me know so i'm gonna move on to a couple of dresses for you now the first dress that I picked to try is from Evans and it is stunning. <laughs> this dress is stunning. I saw this all over Instagram and was like, I have to try it. It's a beautiful polka dot, flowy wrap oh, dress. <laughs> I love this. Like, hashtag polka dot club, as I said earlier. I think this is gorgeous. It's so beautiful and flowy and oh, I didn't even notice it has a little V at the back. Oh nearly just inhaled my hair with excitement <laughs> so I love this but it doesn't fit unfortunately my chest it feels like it's gonna hulk out any second like I didn't know if I was gonna get it on it's tighter on the stomach but it's it's manageable but the chest like I don't know if you can see how much it's like there's no yeah I would have to size up and I don't know if they're gonna have it because it was selling out when I bought it so I will have to have a look because it is beautiful I love everything about it. I feel like a little polka dot fairy. <laughs> so it has got thicker straps, which is good because it can cover up my bra straps. And then it has these really beautiful, thin, um, like cold shoulder moments, which are beautiful and all the frills. And <laughs> it is a wrap, but it's sewn in place. And you do have quite a good underdress on it because sometimes, you know, they can be a bit too short, but this is fine. And then it's longer at the back with a thrill at the bottom, a frill, a frill, a frill. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, I love this dress, I love this dress. If anyone has it in a 30 and wants to sell it to me, hit me up. <laughs> I will have a look online and see if they do have it inside in a 30 because oh, I love this so, so, so much, but unfortunately it's just so, so tight on the chest. So this is gonna have to go back, but I love it. And I'm gonna look for it in another size for sure. So this next dress is from Simply Be, and it's a really pretty black midi length dress with like little daisies on, I think. Let me show you the material. Now I got this in a 28 and it's beautiful. It's that kind of crinkle material, if you know what I mean. And it's got like the elasticated ruching, ruched top, <laughs> which I'm not normally the biggest fan of, but I feel like on here, it just like sucks me in and gives me a bit of a waist and a bit of shape. The arms are elasticated, but they're not tight on my arm at all. They're, they're quite baggy. So you can hardly tell, it just brings them in a bit. I do kind of wish they weren't elasticated. I think it would look a little bit nicer if they weren't, but you know, there's bigger things to complain about. Yeah, you can see how big they are on me. So if you've got bigger arms than me, this will do you great. I do have quite small arms in proportion to my size. Lengthwise, you can see it is a true midi length on me. Let me show you the back. Yeah, I think this is lovely. I'm not sure this is like 30 degree, <laughs> um, kind, a 30 degree kind of dress. It feels maybe a little bit heavier for that, but for autumn, this is definitely an autumn dress for me. I think because of the crinkle of the material, it feels a little bit warmer. Also because I'm just really hot. We're having a bit of like a heat, I was about to say a heat spout, a heat spurt, a, a heat. It's hotter than it should be in the UK at the minute. So um, yeah, I really like this. It's quite simple, but just really fun and cute. And it's very me. It's nothing out of the box for me. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this. What do you guys think? Because I think this is a definite keeper. Are we finishing on a high, guys? <laughs> I feel like we are finishing on a high. This last dress is from Simply Be from AX Paris and I got it in a size 30 because I just had a feeling. You know, when you just think, you just know that you're gonna need to size up and I'm glad that I did. Is this beautiful? Because, you know, I think this is beautiful. Let me show you the back. Oh, this is so different from anything that I have, like the green and the purple. Oh, it's animal print. I didn't realize. <laughs> I'm not a big animal print person, but like just these little subtle bits of it. Oh, it does come with a little waist tie. 
which I personally think, does it look better without it? Are we team waistband or team let it fly free? <laughs> I'll pop it back on so we can see. The waistband is probably, it's, it's long enough, but I would have thought it would have been just a little bit longer. But I guess the waistband does cinch me in just a little bit. Um, it is a wrap top, but I feel really secure. Like, we're not falling out, ladies. We are not falling out. And gentlemen, if there's any gentlemen that <laughs> came along to see me try on swimming costumes. Um, yeah, moving on. <laughs> um, I love the arms. I really like arms that are this length and they're not constricting at all. It's shorter at the front, but it's still below my knee. And then at the back, it is almost floor length. It comes a couple of inches above my ankles. Let me see if you can see if I move over here. I, this is different. This is very different for me, but I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I really like it. You're gonna have to let me know. I just think, I think it's flowy and it's beautiful and it's light. It's not so light that you worry about like the um, longevity of the material. <laughs> like I am not a delicate flower. I break things and rip things. And so when things are really like delicate and soft, I worry, but I feel like it's substantial, but it's light and cooling. Oh, I just want to spin in this. <laughs> oh, and then I remember that I got really, really dizzy when I spin around. <laughs> I'm gonna take the headband off, let's see. My hair is a little crazy today, but yeah. Oh, I just feel like with beachy waves in my hair and a cocktail in my hand, this is a great evening dress, I think. A wonderful evening dress, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments below because I love it. I love it. <laughs> So I'm going to finish the video here. I did have a really quick look when I was like fanning myself off between outfits. The Evans dress is available in a 30. Let me know if you think I should reorder it because it was beautiful. I think I am keeping both dresses from Simply Be, which is really, really nice because I do sometimes struggle with Simply Be dresses recently, but both of them are beautiful. <laughs> the Yours shoes, we'll not talk about, but the Evans shoes are great. And the swimming costumes. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to try and buy a couple in a size 30 and just see if it gives me the extra material that I need. And let me know if you want me to do another swimming costume haul for you, especially a Simply Be one, because they had a couple I wanted to try. And just to say, I know that I'm gonna get a lot of comments telling me about swim dresses. Um, I said in my last swimwear section at ASOS, I have tried swim dresses. I've worn swim dresses for as long as I can remember. I know that they cover things up. I know that they work. I'm not looking for a swim dress. I wanna find the elusive, <laughs> perfect swimming costume. I've got nothing against swimming dresses at all. I just wanna find a swimming costume and it shouldn't be impossible. I should be able to do it. So thank you so much for all your recommendations of swim dresses I could try, but I am really looking for a swimming costume or a bikini, like a really high-waisted, structured bikini. Yes, that would be perfect. So any swimming costumes or bikini recommendations, I will take them and be grateful and be thankful and try them. Um, but for now, I wouldn't be trying any swim dresses, but thank you for your recommendations. It's just not what I'm looking for at the moment. So yeah, that is everything for today's video. Do let me know, did you like this, like mixing up the brands, trying out a little bit of this, trying out a little bit of that? <laughs> because it is something I could do more of, but you'll have to let me know. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do subscribe. I am slowly pushing towards 15,000 subscribers. I'm on 13 and a half now, but we're pushing. And when I get to 15,000, I've got a huge giveaway for you. So please do subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Also, if you give it a thumbs up, I would be so grateful. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.